May 13th. On this day we celebrate the memory of the holy martyr Glyceria and of St. Laudicius, the jailer. In the first year of the reign of Antoninus the Pious, in 138, there lived in Trianopolis a young Christian, the daughter of a high-ranking Roman officer who devoted herself to confirming the Christians in the arena in their faith. On the day of a pagan feast, she marked her forehead with the sign of the cross and went to Sabinus, the governor in the temple, openly confessing that she was a handmaid of Christ. When Sabinus ordered her to sacrifice to the gods, she approached the idols and confronted the statue of Zeus with the invocation of the Saviour, breaking it to pieces. The pagans fell on her in fury and attempted to stone her on the spot, but the stones did not reach her. They hanged the servant of God by her hair and tore her flesh with iron nails. Then she was thrown into prison and left with no food and no water for many days. An angel of the Lord brought her food and fortified her in the hope of good things to come. Also, when the governor summoned her again, he was stupefied to see the saint come before him in good health and radiant with confidence in God. Before leaving the city to go to Thracian Heraclea, Sabinus the governor decided that Glyceria should accompany him. She was received with deference by Bishop Domitius and the Christians over there, who had been told already about her battles. After appearing before the tribunal again, she was condemned to be burned alive. But a heavenly dew quenched the furnace into which she had been thrown. The judge then had her scalp torn off, and she was taken to prison to await further torture. This time another angel came to succor her. In the face of such signs from heaven, the jailer himself, named Laudicius, was converted to Christianity and was immediately condemned to be beheaded. The saint was finally thrown to the wild beasts. A raging lioness leapt at her, but suddenly stopped in its tracks and began tenderly to lick her feet. Another lioness bounded forward in its turn, and with a gentle bite that made no mark, allowed St. Glyceria to join her heavenly spouse with joy. The judge perished miserably shortly afterwards, while the bishop went to bury the body of the valorous athlete of Christ not far from the city. A vast and magnificent church was later built there, in which St. Glyceria was venerated by all the inhabitants of the city of which she had become the holy patron. Her holy miracle-working relics were later translated to Lemnus. From her head, however, which remained in Heraclea, there continued to flow a holy balm that, like a spring of living water, healed many pilgrims. Blessed is our God always now forever. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for the Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord Jesus, unto thee thy Lamb doth cry with a great voice. O my bridegroom, thee I love, and seeking thee I now contest, and with thy baptism am crucified and buried. I suffer for thy sake, that I may reign with thee. For thy sake I die, that I may live in thee. Accept me offered out of longing, to thee as a spotless sacrifice. Lord, save our souls by your intercessions, since thou art great in mercy. Having traversed the water as though it were dry land and escaped the evil of Egypt, the Israelites cried aloud, Let us chant unto our Deliverer and God. O holy martyr Glyceria, pray to God for us. The martyr Glyceria, filling the mystic wine bowl of her virtues and wonders this day, has invited all the faithful to a draught of gladness. Holy martyr Glyceria, pray to God for us. Made stately with the splendor of martyrdom, O martyr, thou stands before thy pure bridegroom, asking that those who praise thee be delivered from soul-corrupting offenses. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Unto manifold tortures, unto sufferings, unto strifes, thou wends forth and afraid, O martyr, for thou hast the grace of the Spirit working with thee and helping thee. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We all have been made rich with the knowledge of God, and knowing thee, O Queen, to be the Mother of God and Our Lady, we honor thee, sealing our words with deeds. Make us steadfast in thee, O Lord, who by the tree has slain sin, and plant thy fear in the hearts of us who hymn thee. O holy martyr Glyceria, pray to God for us. Bringing thy blood to Christ, the sweet-smelling spices and marrow prize winner, thou hast offered unto him as a sweet fragrance, overflowing with healings for all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Master rejoiced noetically in thy struggles, O Glyceria, your adornment of martyrs, Wherefore he has awarded thee as divine gladness to the hearts of the faithful. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. At thy giving of birth, O grace of God, the ancient middle wall of partition of the curse was broken down. And mighty was done away, and we men were united to the angels. Making thy mind strong and secure with divine hopes, thou didst disdain visible things which are fleeting, foreseeing the delights of things known inwardly. Wherefore thou didst run with joy to the course of thy contest, there contending mightily thou didst cast down the serpent, Weaving thyself a fair, unfading crown of holy victory, O martyr Glyceria. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, we shall not cease from speaking of all thy mighty acts, all we the unworthy ones. For if thou hadst not stood to intercede for us, who would have delivered us from such numerous dangers? Who would have preserved us all until now in true freedom? O Lady, we shall not turn away from thee, 
For thou dost always save thy servants from all manner of grief. I have heard, O Lord, the mystery of thy dispensation. I have understood thy divine works and have glorified thy divinity. O holy martyr Glyceria, pray to God for us. Since thou hast slain the invisible beasts of the passions of Glyceria, thou hast not afraid of visible beasts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having before thine eyes the Lord, whom thou didst preach, O prize winner, thou didst overlook all things of sons. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lady and Virgin, they that piously have thee as a protector, Actress and expectation of their souls shall not be put to shame. Wherefore hast thou turned thy face from me, O light never waning? And why has a strange darkness covered me, wretch that I am? But turn me and guide my steps to the light of thy commandments, I pray. O holy martyr Glyceria, pray to God for us. Having received the fear of God in the womb of thy mind, thou brought forth the spirit of saving confession and martyrdom. O noble-minded Glyceria, and with steadfastness thou did wondrously contend, triumphing over the adverse principality. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In imitation of thine august and blessed passion, O Christ, giver of life, she that is united to thee through this passion, suffers eagerly, being cast into the fire while crying out, Beside thee I know no other God. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O bright cloud of the sun, shine on me the splendor that disperses the darkness of sin. Give me your hand and raise me up, who lie in the pit of the passions, O Theotokos, the only restoration of fallen Adam. Compassed by the abyss of my many sins, I invoke the boundless abyss and unfathom deep of thy compassion, O my Christ. Raise me out of corruption, O Lord my God. O holy martyr Glyceria, pray to God for us. Shining with the brightness of the Spirit, adorned with the beauty of purity, thou standst now before Christ, the Master, O glorious Glyceria. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast accomplished a truly good contest, and hast finished the course of piety, and hast received a worthy crown of righteousness from God. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Knowing thee to be the gladness that brings knowledge, O Lady, I draw back the passion's veil of ignorance through your intercessions. Glory to your dominion. Loving Mary, ardently the Theotokos and Virgin, thou didst keep thy maidenhood all uncorrupted and spotless, smitten in thy heart with longing for thy divine Lord. Thou didst strive even to death with courageous valor. O Glyceria, for this cause, Christ God doth crown thee with an august twofold crown. Once in Babylon the fire stood in awe of the condescension of God, wherefore the youths dancing with joyous step in the furnaces in a meadow chanted, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers. O holy martyr Glyceria, pray to God for us. Considering the beauty of Christ in the noetic mirror of purity, thou didst divinely long after it, O celebrated Glyceria, and running after him by contending, thou didst chant, Blessed art thou, the God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Clad in the beautiful robe, colored in the dye of thy blood, O prize winner, thou hast shown what manner of adornment true religion bestows. 
On to all who faithfully sing hymns and chant, blessed are thou, the God of our Father. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Behold, the whole nature of the earthborn glorifies thee, marvelling beyond measure at the mystery of thy conception, O pure and immaculate Virgin, while joyously crying unto him the dawn from thee, Blessed are thou, the God of our Father. To the Lord God who descended to the Hebrew children in the fiery furnace and transformed the flames and the burning heat into dew. Chant praises and hymns of all ye works of his and exalt him greatly to ages and all ages. O holy martyr Glyceria, pray to God for us. Having Christ, thy bridegroom, as the noetic lover of thy purity, O prize winner, thou didst beautify thyself through purity of mind and godly pains, and was joined to him by martyrdom. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. The crushing of thy bodily members ground to dust the enemy's devices, the flow of thy blood dried up the dreadful torrents of godlessness, a wise glyceria, and became a sea of miracles for us. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Have compassion and save us, O Virgin, who inexpressibly gives birth to the compassionate God, and by thine entreaties take away the conflagration of my thoughts and the burning heat of my passions, O pure birth-giver of God. With one accord, let us faithful Lord with hymns God the Word, who came forth from God, and who ineffably took on flesh from a pure virgin for us, and in wisdom past telling descended to make Adam new again, who by eating fell grievously down into corruption's pits. O holy martyr Glyceria, pray to God for us. Lifted above all fleshly attachment in thine yearning for thy bridegroom, O venerable Glyceria, thou didst desire a life beyond the flesh. Therefore, together with the immaterial hosts, thou noetically beholdst Christ our lover, and dost glorify him as more desirable than all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. After many torments thou didst surrender thine unblemished spirit unto the Lord, at thine ascent the heavenly orders clap their hands, and with his almighty right hand, O martyr, Christ crowned thee, who has faithfully striven. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou inclinest to the voices of those who fervently bese beseech thee, O Lady, thou only refuge of the faithful, save, have compassion, preserve from all harm and every plot of the enemy, them that magnify thee always with faith and longing. O Lord Jesus, unto thee thy Lamb doth cry with a great voice. O my bridegroom, thee I love, and seeking thee I now contest, and with thy baptism am crucified and buried. I suffer for thy sake that I may reign with thee, for thy sake I die that I may live in thee. Accept me offered out of longing to thee as a spotless sacrifice. Lord, save our souls through her intercessions, since thou art great in mercy. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, all hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, the praise of his holy and all pure mother, with the praise of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, at the prayers of our holy 
fathers Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the great, Brandon the navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Moluk, Donan, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. At the prayers of the holy martyr Glyceria of Trianopolis, with the prayers of our righteous father, Sergius the Confessor, father of St. Photius the Great, with the prayers of our righteous father, Posicacus, Bishop of Synoda, with the prayers of St. Laudatius, the prison god who was perfected in martyrdom by the sword, with the prayers of the holy Haramat Alexander, Bishop of Tiberiani, who was perfected in martyrdom by the sword, with the prayers of our righteous father, Ephthemius the New, founder of the sacred monastery of Eviron, John the Iberian, father of the said Ephthemius, and George their kinsman who reposed in peace. With the prayers of our righteous father Gabriel the Iberian, who heard the divine voice of the Holy Mother of God and took from the sea the wonder-working icon of the Virgin of the Portal. With the prayers of the righteous martyrs, the monks of Eviron Monastery that censured the Latin-minded emperor Michael Paleologos and the patriarch John Bacchus, who were all perfected in martyrdom when they were cast into the sea. With the prayers of our righteous father Nisiphorus, presbyter of the monastery of Ephraxis, who reposed in peace. With the prayers of our father among the St. Servatius, bishop in Netherlands, who gave hospitality to St. Athanasius the Great in his exile. With the prayers of our righteous father Macarius of Glushitsa, with the prayers of St. Griseria, the Virgin of Novgorod, with the prayers of the holy righteous martyr Macarius of Kanyev, Archimandrite of Ofkruh, with the prayers of St. Aban of Abingdon, St. Erkenwald of London, St. Mel of Bardsey, St. Merwina of Ramsey, and all of those with them whose memory we keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Dana, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. For the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.